Hey y'all, I'm Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another resin project. So today I am going to be showing you how to make this adorable little trinket box. So this is one of those little crown trinket boxes. I understand why they call it a trinket box, but it's like a little storage box. You can put candies or hair ties or jewelry, whatever you want inside. They call it a trinket box. It is a three part mold. And this crown, probably the hardest thing I've ever molded in my life, takes the crown for hardest piece to demold. It is still 100% possible. I will show you how I did it so that you can work it out yourself, but definitely possible. I actually have the lid currently needs to be demolded. I poured another one for a different project, but go ahead and we will demold that on camera after I show you how to make this. So let's jump right in for this project. You obviously need your mold. You need resin. I used amazing clear cast resin. I also used large chunky kind of pink glitter and these beautiful foiled iridescent confetti pieces. They're like stardust and confetti. I love them. I think I'm gonna be using them for several more projects in the future. So if you like them, stay tuned. I've already used them for two more projects I can think of off the top of my head. So. You also need your heat gun, of course, and I think that's all the main things. You'll find the full list down below for supplies. You can click on whatever you need. It'll take you right to the purchase page. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, y'all, voiceover Betsy here. So we are going to start with mixing our resin. So for this project, we need about 400 milliliters of resin. That is quite a bit. Also, how cute is my new heart-shaped mixing cup? I've already bought a second one because obviously I need to use it for all of my projects. Make sure you mix slow and then use a heat gun to pop any bubbles on top that you possibly can. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and set aside a little for later. When you have so much in one big cup, it gets hot faster and then it wants to cure faster. Um, just speeds up the process. So I took a little bit out. Now we're going to add in our rose gold glitter. Perfect, this is a nice chunky glitter. We want it to really show up. You definitely don't have to take any out, but I also wasn't sure at this point. These are the iridescent confetti pieces. Sorry, look how amazing that is. Look at it. <laughs> Stir that in. What I was saying is you don't have to take any out, but I wasn't sure at this point how much resin I need, and I wanted to save some for another project in case I didn't need all of it. You'll see I do end up using it for this project. All right, it's starting to get sticky. Let's bring in our baking tray. So we're just gonna go ahead and start pouring that in. Since this mold has lots of little tiny pieces that are inside the mold, they're in a cavity, you wanna pour your resin in a thin stream from high up, which means I'm blocking the camera a little bit, but that just helps block as many, there we go, as many of those bubbles from getting down into your mold as possible. Okay, so this is when I thought I only needed like 100 milliliters of resin for this. Obviously, that was wrong. So I'm going to just take my little stir stick and I'm spreading the resin out all the way to the outside of the mold just so that first layer kind of hardens properly. Perfect. I'm going to scrape the cup because resin is expensive, y'all. We want to use all of it. Perfect. Get it all in there. All 
All right, so now I'll go ahead and pop any bubbles that I've risen to the top with my little heat gun here. And of course, as always, you don't want to use a torch on silicone. It just, it melts your resin to the silicone, which is not good. Perfect. All right, so now this is that bit I set aside. You can tell I put a lot more of the confetti pieces in this batch. And look, look when I start to pour that. Is that not amazing? Like, that's money, y'all. Like, that looks like stardust in resin. Swear. So, after seeing this, first of all, I love it so much. Second of all, it's just not equal between the the new resin and the old resin so I'm gonna add a little bit to the other pieces and then I'm actually gonna go back and I'm just gonna add some more of those confetti pieces to the first two molds that I did that way they're a little more even but first pop all the bubbles pop all the bubbles sometimes I feel like that's all resin is Perfect, so I'm just gonna add that just a little bit to the top, and then I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna try to pop any bubbles down in the bottom of that crown. As you can tell, it's not very easy, and I only end up doing a little portion of it because it's just not quite working. And when I demold it, you'll see it's fine. So now, I'm going to start pouring. It was pouring really slow, so I grabbed my heat gun to just kind of warm up the resin as I go. But you'll notice here that by warming it up, it is flowing down the sides a lot better, which is better for the resin. But it means that all of those confetti flakes and the resin, um, the glitter, is also flowing down the sides a lot easier. And we don't want all of those pretty little pieces to be at the tips and none in the middle. So I stopped doing that and I let the next bed of resin sit just a little bit so that when it goes into the mold, those pieces stay suspended in the resin just a little bit more. And you'll see when I demold it, that definitely works best. Perfect. So now, just filling everything up. Finally, have enough resin. <laughs> You definitely want to fill that all the way up to the top. Then we'll come back. We'll fill these up all the way to the top. And since some of these are deeper molds, especially the big crown piece, pouring them in separate layers like this, even if they're not over hours, does help the resin not to cure all at once and really have a lot of bubbles. So... This isn't a bad practice. It's just not as convenient as mixing up 400 milliliters of resin and pouring it all in at once. Perfect. So many foil flakes. It's amazing. All right, one last time. Probably not the last time. I don't remember, but let's just let's just hope it's the last time. Of course, when you use your heat gun, any of those free flakes, yep, last time, will start to fly. All right, so now we are going to demold this sucker, and you will see that it is a bit of a struggle. So I'm going to start with the pedestal. Obviously, the top is pretty easy. We're just going to peel it back introduce as much air as possible perfect now I struggle with this part of the pedestal just a little bit and by just a little bit I mean a lot of it so you'll see me I'm kind of like working it a little bit I'm trying to pull it down I can't quite figure it out I finally realize if I get my fingers in and I pull it all the way to the side and then do the same on the other side, I can get it below the base. Perfect, there we go. All right, so now we really have to work to get that bottom out. I'm gonna speed this up because, I mean, I struggle with this for 
way longer than need be. And then I finally figure it out. Pull it all, and then you can kind of work it out the side. Easy. If only I knew that to begin with. <laughs> so now your silicone mold looks demented, but you can fix it. Just pop it back into place. Looks like it's never been harmed to begin with. No silicone molds were harmed in the making of this piece. Now we've got the top. Perfect. It's got that little handle or um, finial on top. So we're going to peel everything back. A little piece of glitter there. And that is the problem when you add glitter to the top instead of mix the glitter in is that sometimes it goes off the edge. Now I twisted that off as you can see and now I'm a little worried that it twisted the finial a little too much. It doesn't appear to have done any damage but really wasn't sure for a second. And so I'm just moving around to see like is it moving or is it hard? And it is hard. It is cured. So it's fine. All right. Ready for the big daddy? So I've learned a few lessons on the other pieces. I'm going to start by pulling this back away from the outsides and then I'm going to fold it over. Perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and just start pulling that down the sides. Now not only is this a big piece with um, the crown tips at the bottom, but as you can see as I'm pulling that back, it does have designs on the side and those need to be freed as well. So you're going to pull it all the way down as far as you can go and then you're going to grab a piece and you're going to try to pull it off over one of those crown tips. Perfect. Get inside, get inside and keep pulling until it's all the way free. And when you're pulling, you're not necessarily pulling it off. You're kind of pulling it out. You're trying to just introduce as much air to that piece as possible. There we go. Now that you've got one free, the next one will peel back easy. The next one and the next one all the way around. And then once you get all of the crown tips out, you can take the inside out pretty darn easy. Voila. Beautiful. You see how the middle is not as many flakes because I sped up uh, with the heat gun and made them flow a little more. That's what I'm talking about. Let your resin sit in the cup for just a minute so that the flake stays suspended all the way down. Now I'm just going to kind of show you how it goes together. You can hot glue the two pieces together. I find that if I unmold this fairly early within the 24 hour mark and then set them together, they kind of cure together. I don't leave the lid on while they're curing. Perfect. I love how this looks and even the inside is beautiful. All right. See you in a second. All right, y'all. Are you not obsessed? I will put some pretty finished pictures after this little clip so that you can see it close up, but you walk across the room here. Are you not like, is this not the best thing you've ever seen in your entire life? I have a little piece of paper in there. Came off a different project. I'm trying to save it. I don't want to lose it. So I, I put it in my trinket box for safe storage. So before get further into the video. I did tell you I would demold this on camera. Hallelujah. So this one, the hardest part is always the top. So you're just going to try to introduce as much air as possible. And then it should really just kind of peel right off. There we go. And there's another lid. <laughs> All right. So if you liked this project, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, turn on the notifications. 
I will be coming back with even more resin projects, including the two other ones I made with these beautiful, I mean, how is that not just amazing? Look at that. beautiful iridescent confetti pieces. I made two more projects with them, so if you want to see what they are, stay tuned. Bye, y'all.